Hey guys, welcome to the first video on the channel. On the channel, I'd be talking about products that are going to come out. Maybe maybe I'll do reviews and I'd be code, coding mostly. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to code rock, paper, scissors, as you saw in the title, with an AI against you in Python. Um, so, let's start. We need to first do import random. The reason we need to do import random is so we can the AI can randomly choose rock, paper, or scissors. Now we need, now we're we're typing start equals true. The reason we're doing this is because if the player wants to play again, we're gonna need this. I, I'll be talking mostly about it in the end of the video we're not gonna be needing it right now but we but I'm gonna type it for now and now we need to count how many times you won or lost and how much you tied with the AI so L equals zero for how many losses you got W equals zero for victories and T equals zero for ties and now we are ready to start the game. First, I'm gonna type while start equal true. We're also gonna need this if the player wants to play again. Talk. We'll talk about that later. So first, we need to ask the player what character they want to use, not the AI. So let's take an input. And choose rock, paper. Or scissors. And then we need to set this inside of a variable. Don't don't make the variable equivalent to input, because then it will get confused. Do user input if you want to do input. And now, now I'm gonna type that lower at the end of it. Um, this will make it all the what the user types all lowercase because then if they type uppercase and our code is in lowercase, then it will it will make an error and it and the game wouldn't be so good. Now we need to make it so the AI will decide the number. I'm gonna do random number. Equal. We need to do random dot random. One, two, three. So it choose a random number one, two, three. Oh, we need to take note of this. Um, I'm gonna comment this. One is going to be rock. Two. This is paper. I mean. Three. This is. Root. So, if ra random number is one, then then computer AI equal rock. We're gonna need to do that for each one. So you could just copy and paste it. So one, two, three. So now, one is equivalent to rock, two is equivalent to paper, and three is scissors. And don't forget to make them all lowercase, because we did dot lower here. Well, it, this dot lower doesn't really matter, but in later in the code, we're going to be using lowercase. So, now let's detect if there's a tie. If, let's do if these two are equivalent. If the user input and the computer is equivalent, so if user input is equivalent to the computer AI, print the tie. I know now we need to add to the score T because T is our um, ties variable. So T, T plus T equals one. And we need to print 
um, how many times you lost. Don't forget to put a comma here, or else it will not work. Equal T. Just quickly, you can copy and paste all of this. Losses, victory. Make sure to put the, the right variable for each one. Wait, why did I put this here? Put this. Sorry if that guy that confused you. My mistake. Now we need to do an elif. Now let's go to compare if the user chose rock and computer um, chose scissors and we need to print you in. So if the user input is rock and the computer AI accidentally made one equal sign. If you do, if you put two equal sign, it's a comparison, and if you put one equal sign, it is setting it equal to scissors. So make sure to do two equal signs because we're comparing. And then now we need to print you one. You could we we could just copy this. You one. Uh, not plus two. We need to change this to W. We can just copy and paste this three times, guys. We need to just change this to paper and rock. And you need to change this one to scissors and paper now if they lost when you just do else because everything and any other situation you would have lost so why is this indent so weird well it feels like it's off why is this all off? That is so confusing. Is this the only one that was off? Hmm. That was weird. Hey, what? I hate that when that happens. Your name's off. Else, we need to just copy this, but say you lost. Oh. Okay. Now we just need to ask if they want to play again. So uh, let's say uh, we need to get an input from them. Do you want to play again? We're gonna do do why? Why or no? Yes or no? By doing why? Why or n? I'm gonna do this a lot lower. Get the F caps lock on. So, but if again is N, Pr I'm gonna print thanks for playing. And F. Um, start. It's true. So then it runs again. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, said so start equals to false. And then I'm just gonna add this quickly. Print. Welcome to rock paper scissors. To rock paper scissors. Why is my shift 
be worth it. Okay. Now, if we run it, I won. So, I won again. I tied. Just making sure everything's working. The win. Working? Okay. How about the loser? Have I lost yet? Okay, yeah. I'm just making sure everything's working. It looks like everything's working, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's it for rock, paper, scissors. Um, I'm going to have a link in the description to the exact code I used. Um, if you guys look right here, this is the link to my replit that, I'm, that I have. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, actually, I forgot one line of code. If you want to add, you can print out what the computer chose. So print the computer chose and then add a comma. There, that should work. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to code rock, paper, scissors. And, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.